New York City is filled with art, and it is populated with artists. Artists make our world a more beautiful and more meaningful place, and help us see inside of ourselves and more deeply into one another. Some of New York's artists are neurodiverse. In that difference, as with all differences, there is an added layer of beauty. Art creates and enhances human communication and connection. Art expresses and evokes pain and joy. Art is complex. It makes us think and feel. Creating it and consuming it grows our minds and our souls, and it builds our resilience. We all need art, now more than ever. AHRC, New York City's Art Tech Collective, is a place for New York City artists. With the added beauty of their differences, these artists create, express, communicate, and inspire. I'm Jason Velez. I am an artist here in Art Tech. December 2016, Art Tech Collective is a community art center located at the Howie Stone Adult Day Center in the Bronx. The purpose of the studio is to provide individuals with tools to express their ideas through the creation of art and to develop their craft. This art studio and approach and philosophy really gives opportunity for people to build their self-esteem and confidence. People come here, there's no judgment, there's no error correction. This is your creation, and I think that that creates a lot of opportunities for a person to build that confidence. I would say that the program provides a very dignifying experience to those who are involved. Because if they get ownership, like they get to express themselves in ways that I think typically aren't offered to people with disabilities. Each weekday, dozens of artists can be found creating artwork within the facility using a wide range of traditional and technological tools made available for self-expression with support from dedicated art specialists. It has definitely created a great sense of community and collaboration and unity, and it's the perfect balance, I would say, because they all not only get to work individually and, and strengthen their own identity in terms of art making, but also connect, get to know people, work together, collaborate, plan out things as a group. With an open studio atmosphere and a multidisciplinary approach, an array of choices is provided for the artists as they work to develop their talents. I would classify Art Tech as a progressive studio, so we're seeing that a lot now in like con the contemporary art scene, these progressive studios in which artists with intellectual and developmental disabilities are making their place in the New York art scene and in the international art scene. I think being able to identify as a practicing artist who has art in the community really adds a whole avenue to someone's life and brings a lot of meaning and purpose. Those changes are so visible, so palpable with so many people, especially when this is being recognized by our communities. The studio is an extension of AHRC New York City's mission to find ways for neurodiverse people to live their lives to their fullest potential. Art Tech is my inspiration to be an artist because those people are good to me and care about me and I care about them too as well. That's what is important to me. just really amazed of how much he's grown. That's something that the whole family is proud of. He's the artist, you know? And he's the one that keeps everyone together. <laughs> Art 
Art is my life. I've been making artwork for years. Since I was five years old. He was really nonverbal for, you know, for a couple of years, but he always had like an interest in art. To me, I think that the art really did make him verbal. You know, developing to him actually making paintings and being able to talk and communicate and talk about the paintings and what was in there. The art studio was his life. He, he won't miss a day. And that's something that, that I really love. Not only has he been making art for all these years, but he's really immersed himself in the New York City art community. He can take it upon himself to really look at other artworks to help his practice develop. Doing these shows, you know, when you get to go and see your artwork and then you see your friend's artwork, it's just like really makes a bond between people. It looks like I started to be famous when I see my artwork is hanging in public. I am very glad and I'm very happy and grateful. I'm just like, wow, you know, I know that he's an artist, it's wonderful. When I see him there, that he's talking and presenting and the way he carries himself is really, really wonderful. I think it has strengthened his identity as Puerto Rican and that he gets to talk about culture and the beaches and the music and the conga man. And it has definitely made him prouder of who he is, for sure. I mean, watching Jason create, you can see he really cares. You know, like this is what he wants to do. And Jason definitely identifies as an artist. The agency is able to help him fulfill that dream to be an artist and continue in life because that's a lifetime process for him. And I'm really proud of him. And proud of the agency. I always say, oh my God, thanks AHRC for, you know, for the opportunities that they provided for him.